The following match is scheduled for one fall and it is for the NCW United States Championship. Out comes the Olympic hero, Dylan Narak. Dylan Narak making his in-ring return after fighting to get into that number one contender's hardcore title match. But remember, this is open challenge. And what, what Olympic hero would he be if he didn't challenge for the United States Championship? However, the US title in the hands of the gatekeeper, in the hands of Tony Lee Williams. The question is, does Tony Lee Williams have what it takes to continue defending his United States title? Or will it come to a halt at the hand of the newcomer, the Olympic hero, Dylan Nairak? Speaking of, that fucking metal looks bent out of shape. The five-time champion, three-time tag, one-time U.S., one-time champion of champions. This man knows what it takes to be a champion here in NCW. He's been around for one full year. Or at least close to. He's run Cult to Monsters. He has created kingdoms of redemption. He has created moments in the spotlight. And he has main event of pay-per-views. But now, he is the United States Champion. He's beaten party boys, assassins. What more does he have to do left in NCW? The answer is simple, become the longest reigning defending United States Champion of all time. As he holds that US title high in the air, he says come get some. Because I am the gatekeeper and none shall pass. Tony Lee Williams competed against last week, last episode. I think it was. Who was it? Oh, right, Walter Rose Robinson. That's who he fought last episode. And what a hell of a match that one was. Tony Lee Williams holding his arm high in the air, the title not leaving his shoulder until he has to hand it to the referee. <coughs> but here we go, Olympic Hero versus the Gatekeeper. Look at Dylan Ara, he's ready. He's probably a real person and I wouldn't even know. Here we go, Dylan Ara. Oh, gets hit with that belly to back suplex. Tony Lee Williams straight out of the gate here with a senton. Dylan Ara with the leg trip. And a massive elbow across the chest. And another one. 
Looking to cave in to the champion's chest here. Here we go. Release throw. Or gut wrench release suplex. But Tony Lee Williams able to take him down. Oh, look at this quick kicks here. Straight in the face. Picks him up. Tony Lee Williams, Irish whip off the ropes now. Looking, power slam, no, counter. Dylan Irish trying something from behind, but Tony Lee Williams able to counter him. Here we go, looking suplex, but no, blocks it. Dylan Irish of the suplex of his own. I think Dylan Irak defeated, if I remember correctly, he beat a, he defeated Quinn to earn this opportunity in the NCW. Oh shit, right, this is false count anyways. Weapons legal and this is something you wouldn't expect out of an Olympic hero. But Tony Lee Williams taking a bat away from him, he says, we're doing this my way. And that is in a pure wrestling match. Here we go, it's raising him down, chop to the back, kick to the chest. And another kick to the chest. Since winning the US title, Tony Lee Williams has, has been on a whole different level. Oh, massive senton. Here we go, looking shoulder, looking shots for the shoulder. Oh, forearm. Into the, oh. Thought he was going German, but no. Amateur wrestling takedown. Oh, slap to the back. Here we go. Irish whip into the corner now. Turns him. No, it doesn't turn him. Instead, it hits him with a real German suplex. Rolls him over, footed cover, goes for the pin. Foot next to the rope, not under. But Dylan Irish able to kick out. But then again, this is false count anyway. Rope breaks wouldn't help you in the slightest. Oh, running into Guri to the back of the head. Dylan Nairik might be an Olympic gold medalist, but he is not a champion yet here in NCW. Oh, tilt the world, side slam. Dylan Nairik goes straight in for the cover. One, two, kick out. Dylan Arak looking to end it, looking to become US champion. What's he got here? Oh, look at this, Olympic bomb. Oh, right in the middle of the ring, that could be it. New champion, one, two, no. Tony Lee Williams able to kick out there. Dylan Arak can't believe it. Nailed his best move there. Tony Lee Williams, big back suplex. Drops him on the neck. Oh, and there's that big four, that big forearm. Forearm elbow, one or the other, it's still effective as all hell. Tony Lee Williams trying to drag him away, turn him around, here we go. Finally catches him. Tony Lee Williams still feeling the effects of that power bomb. I'm sure of it. Look at this, the Olympic hero crawling to the champion. Here we go, power bomb. No, into the flip cut. Now Tony Lee Williams across the ring. Looking to go with a full head of steam to take out his challenger for tonight. Oh, redemption knee strike. Drops in for the cover. That could be it. He hit him full speed. And three is all it takes. As Tony Lee Williams continues his reign as United States champion. His job as the gatekeeper.
but Dylan Nara gave it everything the champion had. Look at that, blocked the block the elbow strike into a tilt the world power slam. Well, Tony Lee Williams, he's been in the business for quite some time. He knows. Oh, he's taken a lot of serious damage previously. But off that full running knee strike, that redemption knee. Three seconds later, and still your United States champion. Oh, there he goes. Dylan Arak heading straight to the back. If he can stand up after taking that knee shot. Tony Lee Williams holding the title high in the air. He's third successful title defense. 